Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another anime review. And this one is the first or second season, second season, of Overlord. And I know, I know there have been memes, and know there have been a lot of things about the lizard people. Funny enough, that's like the first half of this season. So yes, you're gonna have to go through the lizard people and all that stuff. But it's a really interesting story, but they don't tell me about the lizard babies. Somebody wanted to know if somebody gave birth to a lizard baby yet. <sighs> they don't. <laughs> they After that lizard men arc, it very much goes into the rest of the story, which is him trying to conquer this world, but in a nice way and not an evil way, which is kind of interesting, even though he kind of shows his brute force and power, yet goes into his warrior thing and is like, I'm going to protect my people. <sighs> so I really did like this. This is going to be my final review on the second season, unless there mysteriously comes out more episodes. But there was like 26 or 24 in this one. So I believe it's done until they have season three, which I believe is a thing, but I don't know quite sure. I haven't confirmed anything. <laughs> Unlike other anime, which I can easily just kind of confirm. But this is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool season to the whole Overlord thing. So I know, if you think that it's just going to be Lizardmen, it's not. It's not. You are going to have Momont, and you're going to have everybody kind of come in. Uh, and you're going to have those characters come in, as well as when the fighting and stuff against the Lizardmen happened. So yes, I promise you, it's not all about the Lizardmen or the weird romantic tendencies of Lizardmen. It's not that at all. Promise. There's even a part when, like, um, our two main kind of lizard people getting it on. And, like, Momont's like, I better go check on him. And he sees it and then goes, I did not expect that. Ooh, boy. And, like, everyone's like, oh, they're disgusting, they're foul. Oh, and he's like, it's it's their last hurrah. You can't blame them for wanting this. Let's just, it's peace. Let's just peace for right now. So, it's kind of interesting. And I can see that he's trying to give his underlings more freedom. Because even he, as a person who didn't come from this world, coming into this world... Doesn't know how long he's going to be. And even though he's still in this. Like he hasn't gone back. At all. He's just like. He wants them to think for themselves a bit. And be in charge more of themselves. Um, so it's interesting. And we get to see that there are more bad people in this universe. And that's weird. Like why are most of these humans really evil. Or really bad. We do have another sub-story of Sebes saving this girl and then making her not, like, part of the fighter maids, but part of the maid service. Um, and one of the battle maids is kind of like, I don't like this. But, once again, like, Momont's like, ah, it's a... Like, in his brain, he's like, it's cool. You know, everyone's taking their own initiative to things that's amazing. Uh, better be stern though, but thinking. Yes. <laughs> so it's really interesting to see how this story progresses. Yes, in the beginning it's very much Lizardman. Yes. But once you get past that, you there is a story. And it does get into the people. We are actually meeting this kind of messed up kingdom. With a messed up princess that people are against. Holy snap, you need to watch it. Um, and you just, it's really awesome. I do recommend this if you did watch the first season and you like it. It does have a bit of a swing to it, but I liked knowing more of the people outside of Nazarek because really, we got to know them. We got to know that they came to a different world. Oh, uh, yes, man. I miss, I miss Albedo. I miss her. Sassy, sassy girl. Oh. God, sassy. Love her. <laughs> we get to also see that she's made, like, a body pillow of him and everything. It's 
adorable, weird, meh. Uh, and then we see the our vampire lady who just wants, you know, like, I'm so sorry about everything that happened. She gets used as a chair for him. And she's enjoying it a little too much. Mm. Yeah. So, it's definitely interesting. And you definitely should power through the lizard men part. Even though I really liked it. You get to know more about our this world. I was about to say our world. <laughs> My world of anime is too big though. But you get to know more about the world. And that's kind of what I like. Is to know what's going on. Why, you know, why did he add the lizard men? Well, he was trying to come up into the kingdom. And, you know, wanted to show that he's powerful. But also that, you know, he can be lenient at times so it's all interesting I'd love to see a season three and see more of him conquering this world being challenged by the people and all this stuff <clears throat> my voice going through puberty again so I really do recommend this one believe me if you're not into the power into the lizardman just power through it's cool it's good you get to some really interesting parts don't worry it does get better it does get really good I loved it. I watched it all. It's really good. So, if you like this, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below of season two. Who is your favorite character? Um, I do like the blue roses. And I do like... Um, oh, goodness. It's a guy who's the right hand to the princess. I do like the kid. I don't like how the princess is using him. And then it's like... Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do some stuff. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He see that. I like that. Uh, but I still like, once again, Albedo. I do. And I love our little characters uh, from Nazarik so much. Just love them. And definitely don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime and manga reviews and random stuff as well. I do try my best to upload Monday through Friday, as well as since the summer is going to happen more, hopefully I will be able to do more videos as well. Uh, the, on the manga side, I may slowly be running out. You'd think a huge stack that I've been pulling for almost half a year could last a bit longer. Eh. But never worry. And if you want to follow about, want to follow me on social media, <laughs> On my Facebook or Twitter, the links are down below for if I do go live on Twitch and all that good stuff. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. Wolfie-chan, out. Bye.